the hard work is done. You have submitted your stories to the Vellies, Amazon's platform for episodic writing. Now, take a moment, exhale, release all that pent up excess energy. The writing part of the contest is over. All the dedication and hours of sacrifice have brought you to this moment. You must feel really good about completing the writing goal you set for yourself. I am excited. Towards the end of the competition, I wasn't sure if I'd make it. Originally, I entered three stories into the contest. The Black Wife Effect, which I quickly gave a new name because the story started going in another direction. That series is now called The Whip. I also was writing The Cinderella Complex and The Black Americans. But as time started to run out for me, I withdrew the Black Americans from the Vellies. But I plan on continuing that series in the future. June and July have been extremely challenging for me. In addition to writing in the contest, I also have to upload episodes for my series, Cry Another Day, which is about a polygamous relationship. This series is doing really well, and you should check it out. As an official contestant in the Valley's writing contest, you may be wondering, what's next? What should you do now that your story has been accepted and locked in? Do you stop writing? Should you take time off? Is it time to think about writing seasonal romances? After all, Halloween, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and New Year's are right around the corner. Well, my answer to those questions is no. You, as a Kindle Vella author, will have work to do. You do. You still have lots of work to do. Now that you are no longer able to make edits or changes to those locked episodes that Amazon is considering for the grand prize, you must keep working and campaigning for your story. Here are a few suggestions to keep you writing and to keep up that momentum. These are things that I will be doing. Here are the strategies that I will be implementing until September the 27th, 2024, which is the date that the winners will be announced. I will first fill a huge mason jar with hot tea, lemon juice, and a drizzle of honey. I have to watch my glucose levels, but that's a story for another time. While sipping that delicious tea, I will, one, continue writing for the two series Amazon has accepted into the competition. Amazon will still allow its contestants to publish new episodes. However, these newly released episodes will not be judged in the competition. For example, my series, The Cinderella Complex, has 11 episodes that are locked into the contest, but I can continue writing, picking up with episode 12. The same thing applies with my series, The Whip, which is an urban political thriller. I will continue to write for my followers, uploading new content on a regular basis. This practice will keep readers coming back for more and unlocking new episodes. Number two, it is important to promote your series on all of the social media platforms. Focus on YouTube. Create short videos between 10 seconds and 60 seconds. Highlight your series with popular music and catchy video clips. Never be afraid to repurpose your short videos and longer content. Post them everywhere. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, wherever you think people will be looking around and searching for entertainment, post your stuff there. Also, share your stories with family and friends. I'm sure they will appreciate your writing and would love to support you. Invite people to follow, share, like, and crown your series. Let them know that you will appreciate book reviews and yellow red stars. Oops, I mean yellow star ratings. Remember, all reader engagement generates money and bonuses for you, the writer. I hope these suggestions are helpful. Please share your Kindle Vela experiences with me. I'd love to hear the good, the bad, and the unexpected. 
please leave the title of your series in the comment section of this video so that my followers and I can check out your work. If you like this video, you will want to check out 11 kinks you don't see in romance novels. As always, I am wishing you love, peace, joy, and happiness. This is Elizabeth Griffin, the Black Romance Writer. And until next time, take care.